Bonsoir, babe. Welcome in. Welcome in. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my unpopular Sims 5 opinions. And I'm stood up again because this I do have legs. In fact, it's a, it, this is a true fact. And I don't actually have that many unpopular Sims 5 opinions, but I do have them. And some do remain to be unpopular. So today, we are going to be doing a delving into that. I do like being stood up. Not on dates. Never happened before, but I wouldn't like it to happen. Uh, I just like being stood up in the sense of I like being on my feet. You know, like I could get a treadmill here. Power walk, power walk. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. So it's me. Welcome to my Sims 5 Unpopular Opinions by Jesse McNamara, MA on, BA ons, MA ons, distinction level. Anything I say here cannot be used against me in a court of law. And if anybody does try and use this against me when The Sims 5 releases, I plead the fifth. I have the right to remain silent. And also I have a master's degree, but that will not stop me from talking shit. One thing about my opinions, babe, they change on the weekly. And also depend on my hormone cycle. I can feel completely different about two topics depending on the week. It's my uterus. It's a uterus, babe. Mainly you. <laughs> Definition of unpopular opinion. Unpopular opinions are not, and I see this a lot when I ask for unpopular opinions online. Unpopular opinions are not, I want creative style, or I want an open world, or I want real deep family gameplay. Those are popular opinions. Those are things that we want. As a little add on to that, if I say the opinion that you massively disagree with, that's completely okay. Uh, it's not an excuse to hate on me or people in the comments if they disagree with you. My opinions are unpopular for a reason, and that's all right. And we can all just get on in this bizarre thing called life. We can build a bridge and get over it. I bet there's bridges in Hobbiton. I'm reading The Hobbit, nearly finished The Hobbit actually. It's my latest obsession. Always said I couldn't get obsessed with Lord of the Rings because I would become fully obsessed with it and my brain doesn't have that space. Well, guess what? It's happened, babe. And you can blame my friend Le Green Leaf for introducing me to The Hobbit. One thing about me, I would smash bad. If anyone's wondering, current update on my fictional character obsession, we're still back on the Mr. Darcy bullshit. Um, he mainly comes in for depression either though. We've also got Eddie Munson, Steve Harrington. We, Snape is no longer, he is nothing of the sort. Um, we don't talk about my Snape time. I, I blame the autism for that one. Fucking bands. Andrew Masubin, Sirius Black. Okay, moving on. Anyway, make of that what you will. Just to let you all know, you have been warned. Again, not an excuse to hate on people. People can have two opinions, can both be true. You know, Judas, 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 Judas. I love that guy. Okay, the first unpopular opinion, we're just gonna go in. Base game should be base game only. I know that this is an unpopular one and discourse about this comes every single time a base game is released. And um, when I say it should be base game only, I mean like, I don't think that we should have seasons. I don't think that we should have pets. And this is my reasoning for that. I think that a base game should 100% be solid as a base game and then things can be brought in after to kind of enhance it. Whereas if seasons or pets, etc., came in at a base game, it would take away from base game mechanics that need to be built upon. Uh, basically, what I'm saying is I've got trauma from The Sims 4's release, right? She has traumatized me. I don't want a repeat of that on The Sims 5. Like I want the base game to be 100% solid because The Sims 4 base game, she's not, okay? And it means that every single thing that releases, every game pack, every expansion pack, no matter how good it is, it's always let down by the inherent failings of The Sims 4 base game. And it's too much. So I would like a base game to not have any of these add-ons. I would rather have a very, very, very solid base game. And I really do believe that. I mean, if they can have a really, really, really solid base game, as well as including Seasons and Pets, then bring it on, babe. Do I think that they can do that? No. Actually, point B. I'm gonna add a point B to this. I would accept a base game with weather, potentially. But the thing is, with weather and all, right, that's gonna be so many animations and so many things to add. Like, what are you gonna do if it snows? Are we just not gonna have animations for that? Or like, are we not gonna build a snowman for that? They could do that, but then that's like, that's like a lot of resources that I would rather go to something else and have that come out as a pack. However, if, you know, weather was included in base game, I would still want a seasons-esque pack if we couldn't do all these season things in in the base game, if weather was so, so per chance released with base game. But then because weather would already be in base game, I would expect like an entire world and different types of holidays, not just the Christian themed ones. Like the seasons pack would have to fucking slap. I'm talking festival grounds and the holiday calendar and different types of holidays. Like it would have to be visionary, vision is scary. It would have to really 
take the cake. Nothing could beat Sims 3 generation. I mean, well, yeah, the Sims 3 generation says lie, that's it. But also the Sims 3 season, she was an icon. And as for pets, honestly, if the Sims 4 can't even deliver a full pets pack and has to settle on cats and dogs, I really don't have faith for pets to be fully flushed out in a wool based game. Someone call Peter, because the Sims 4 needs it. Next one, right, I am kind of, I don't want to, do not perceive, do not perceive. Uh, I don't think that the Sims 5 should be free to play on release. I am not a Tory. <clears throat> and I do just need you to hear me out just for one just just by one minute i don't think that it should be free to play upon release because the sims 4 is going free to play if you didn't know the sims 4 is going free to play free to play free to slayer i think it if it if the sims 5 just go free to play I think it should be free to play in the sense that Disney Dreamlight Valley is. Because Disney Dreamlight Valley, you can buy the base game or whatever, and then it's coming out free later on. So you can still buy that. One thing that makes me scared of The Sims 5 going free to play, like from the get go, is what that would mean. I'm not opposed to it being free. I don't think, like, I don't have a problem with people not spending money, but that doesn't mean that people wouldn't have to spend money. Because if The Sims 5 is free to play from the get go, how are they going to make that money up? Microtransactions. And that is the death of a game. And I really do believe that. And I've always said that. And I'd say it again. Microtransactions are the devil. And I'm here to crucify it. I do not want microtransactions in The Sims 5. And that I do fear, knowing EA's practices, that that's what would happen if The Sims 5 went free to play. So yeah, you get the base game. But oh, you want to have this city? Pay two pounds, bitch. You like this hair? Well, you can't fucking have it. You stupid bitch. That's how microtransactions feel to me. Microtransactions bully me. <laughs> Fuck microtransactions. So yeah, that's why I don't think that The Sims 5 should be free to play. However, I'm not opposed to this free to play system, especially if there is communication about it much in advance, like Disney Dream Like Valley. Can't believe I'm praising Disney for something. Does not mean I'm a stan. I could be a Disney adult. Honestly, I feel like if I came out and said I'm a Disney adult, people would be like, yeah, that checks. Mickey Mouse knocks me violently ill. Sorry to this man. He makes me sick. I do like Goofy though. Uh, Donald Duck knocks me a bit bad and all. I like all of the princesses. The lime at the sky, Mrs. T. It does in fact call me. How the fuck did I get onto that? Oh yeah, like Disney Dreamlight Valley where you know in advance that you're gonna be paying for it and then it, it comes out free later. I'm just very scared of microtransactions. I do not want them. I would do anything to avoid microtransactions. Fuck microtransactions. One thing about Plumbella, she's against microtransactions. You know what? I feel like being stood up really unlocks just an extra level of the tism. Hi, just editing me coming in to say that I'm not opposed to the idea of The Sims 5 being free at all because if The Sims 5 could be released for for I, when we get that for free and this for free but if The Sims 5 got released for free and there was no microtransactions I would be very much happy with that. I would I would greatly approve of that. I'm just scared of microtransactions. Not necessarily The Sims 5 being free, but I'm scared of The Sims 5 being free if it means microtransactions. Sims 5 being free with no microtransactions, slay. But I'm scared. I'm frightened. <laughs> Here's an unpopular one for the boys. I don't think Kaz should only, and by Kaz I mean create sim, obviously. I don't think that should only be click and drag. I do appreciate that The Sims 4 kind of revolutionised this whole create sim thing because before it would just be levels that you'd click and drag across. And then the click and drag came, like you could actually click the, the face and like drag it and stuff like that. G fucking G. But well done for that one to the sims 4 team that was so innovative that was really woo but however i find it quite difficult as someone who's absolutely shitting kaz i find it really difficult to like visualize what i'm actually doing not to say that i don't think that click and drag should be a thing i just think that it should have both that and the levels i get very overwhelmed and i really struggle to make chins i mean this slide speaks for itself there but like genuinely i'm not that good at making sims styling them i enjoy making houses but actually creating a face babe i i'm sure i have a sense of like face blindness because i think i just forget what fucking humans look like i know that people generally are much more talented than me and create sim ggs to use babe you're really out there killing it and i'm literally here being killed by create sim love your power though next i don't want game packs like i will fight i will die on this hill and you look at the sand and there's only one set of footprints it's because i've knocked you the fuck out because i really do believe in this opinion i think game packs were fun and fresh and they were a good time when they first came out but game packs need to die now i think they need to die maybe i would allow them to stay in my mind no because i don't have any power i would agree with them if i feel like they added something to gameplay which they do they do add something to gameplay. But because they're so small, this sounds really obvious, but obviously they're like smaller than expansion packs, but like bigger than stuff packs. No offense to the Americans. Sometimes I just default in that accent. It's talking shit. Because they're smaller than expansion packs, they don't really get to penetrate, don't laugh, the game. Because that's an entirely appropriate word. They Game packs just kind of live on the off skirts of the Sims game and they kind of don't really, unless you choose to kind of interact with stuff like that, then it doesn't really make much of a difference. And especially the worlds, the worlds are 
too small. I just don't think that they make enough of a difference and they're so common compared to expansion packs. Like I would rather just stop game packs and stop kits. Just expansion packs and stuff packs. That would be the perfect thing because game packs are so often that I do feel like they take away from expansion packs and I really do believe that. Basically, I just think if we took the time away from game packs, then EA would have more time and more money to focus on expansion packs, which really impact your game. And it would be, in my opinion, a good way of spending money. I also do have Journey Back to trauma. Journey Back to absolutely traumatized me. Oh God, I know that I'm going through a Lord of the Rings phase right now, but I hope I don't go through a Star Wars phase and end up like in Journey Back to. I hope that doesn't happen. For that reason, I refuse to watch Star Wars. I've not watched it to this day and I will not watch it commencing from now. And if I ever, if you ever see me tweet babe and I post a lot of shit tweets but if you ever see me tweet that I've watched Star Wars I would like to be shot. Happy for anyone who likes Janet Batu though it just could never be me. No offense to if it is you it's just not me and that's all right we don't need to be the same. Those are all of my unpopular opinions about The Sims 5. I'm sure I have more, but when I was trying to think of unpopular opinions, popular opinions were just coming into my head. Suddenly I have I have no popular opinions all of a sudden. It was more just things that I want. Like, <gasps> one thing that I did think that I really want is I really, really, in my heart of heart of heart, I really, really want The Sims 5 to be back on a timeline. Nothing makes me more feral than that being on a timeline. And it is such a good way to win Link all over the previous games. I really want it to be on a timeline. Like, I just want to see where my Sims end up. I do not know. These Sims in The Sims 4, they are not, they are not my sims. So yeah, that is everything I have for you today. Those are all of my unpopular opinions. Please do let me know your unpopular opinions as well, but I wanna know like actually unpopular opinions. Uh, I, to be honest, I still feel like even the ones that I said today are quite popular because I, I do feel like I can justify them. Um, I can justify my opinions. And it's not that I'm totally against them. It's just, yeah, actually for the majority, I'm not totally against them. I'm just more against how I think EA would deliver them. Like obviously I want The Sims 5 to be free, but do I believe that EA can deliver The Sims 5 to be free in a way that doesn't include microtransactions? Absolutely not, your honor. Hope I'm wrong though, genuinely, from heart of hearts. Genuinely, EA, please prove me wrong. Love you. You do not have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. Anyway, love you all so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, bitch. She's a super freak. Super freak. She's super freak. She's a very special girl.